says his road to recovery has been a long one and frustrating at times, but all the community support has helped him get through it. It's been a tough pill to swallow for Brandon Steberg. Football's my entire life, so, so, so it's kind of hard to stop, you know, doing what you love. But some things happen, so it's all right. On September 23rd, the Papillion La Vista senior sustained a brain injury while doing what he loved. Steberg spent six days in medically induced coma. Doctors temporarily removed part of his skull to relieve pressure on his brain. On October 6th, he was moved to Madonna Rehabilitation Hospital's Lincoln campus. Nice. He's going to challenge himself. I don't have to encourage him too much to do better. Physical therapist Sarah Economidis says for weeks they've worked on Steberg's balance. Keep breathing. His endurance and issues with double vision. I'm making the big strides and I'm going back home on Friday, so I'm pretty excited about that. Most patients that we have with that type of injury don't come back this quickly, so he's he's doing awesome. Steberg's determination and competitive spirit pushed him while at Madonna. The harder I work, the sooner I'll be out of here, so that was kind of my motivation. Steberg can't thank everyone enough for cheering him on throughout his recovery. He is grateful for the community support. I know that the prayers have got me through all this. And you know, the reason why I woke up is because all the people praying for me. Football may be over, but life is just beginning for the 18-year-old. There's a lot of other things out there in the world that I can, you know, have a job and excel at. So I'm excited to see what the future brings. Again, Brandon gets to go home on Friday. He says he should have that portion of his skull replaced in the coming weeks. And after that, he gets to go back to school. Live in the studio, Emily Zink, KMTV Action 3 News. Emily, thanks. We wish him the best. A GoFundMe page has been set up in Brandon's name. In the 25 days it's been up, more than 300 people have donated $18,000 to support his recovery process. He has a fantastic.